Hello, the internet. Um, this is Mando. She's my... What are you? Your girlfriend! Oh, she's that. <laughs> we decided to make a video we tried before, but it, it turned out to be really terrible because we used a demo of a thing and it, it looks like this. So, we're going to talk about random things because that's how we roll. And uh, first was we saw Star Trek. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What? It was also 33 minutes. Yeah, the video was 33 minutes, so we need to try to keep <laughs> this under. But, um, so first we saw Star Trek Friday, and what, what did you think of it? Um, it was pretty good. The graphics were really good. Um, a lot of people are complaining because they said that the plot didn't really follow... Who the... are these people? Where are they? I don't fight them. <laughs> I have a... My history teacher, he's, he was like a Trekkie. He, he showed us pictures of wherever, whenever he was like in high school, where he was like all dressed up in like the Trekkie mm -hmm. uniform. Like, and he has a problem with the movie? Well, he said it doesn't really follow the history of the show, but, but it, then again, it's not really point. supposed to. So he complained because he's an original Trekkie. He's just a butthole because he doesn't understand the time warp <laughs> thing, and he needs to get over it's himself. It's true. But other than that, it was a really good movie. I like the explosions in space. I like mm -hmm. how... The sound. Yeah, and the, the sounds and stuff. Yeah, it was very good. I'm not a Star Trek person at all. I'm a, I'm a Star Wars man. I, I enjoyed it very much, and it was very exciting. And it almost, almost made phasers look not like the gayest thing ever. But they still are the gayest thing ever, the little weenie pistols that they have. <laughs> also, uh, Hulu. Cause you watch a lot of Hulu. Yeah, I watched like, uh, I watched three episodes of Hulu last night. Three 40-something minute long episodes. Um, the big thing with Hulu is it's getting popular because YouTube is getting unpopular. YouTube is getting disgusting, and I mean, yeah, people are on it a lot. People still see clips and videos and stuff, like three-minute things, but really the whole big issue with Hulu is that it looks disgusting. It looks very... No, Hulu looks I mean, nice. yes, I mean, YouTube I meant disgusting. YouTube. YouTube looks disgusting. YouTube is like MySpace now. YouTube is disgusting. Mm -hmm. But Hulu is good for, like, watching TV shows and movies, but YouTube's still the best for, like, homemade videos. Yeah, um, a couple of like days ago, one. not that long ago, they had this thing called Hulu Primetime, and it was where, um, the, it started at like 7 o'clock and it was sponsored by McDonald's, McDonald's, McCafe, um, and it was Hulu without commercials. It was really cool, because normally Hulu has like 4 30 minute, or 4 30 second commercials in it, mm -hmm. so. Cool, mm -hmm. I like Hulu a lot. Hulu. Hey, go watch Hulu. Hulu. Hulu.com. Hulu.com. If you haven't been there, you get out of the house. We saw The Soloist also, which was... Why did you have Luna on my... Because we talked about Luna running into the... the into the... Luna's my dog. It's just like a black wad of fur that scrabbles around and runs into things. And it's true. Poops He's in Grandpa's right. room. It's so... Okay, anyways, The Soloist, that was also a really, really good movie. Mm -hmm. It had the Downey Jr. in it and Ray Charles. Or Jamie Foxx, for you smart people that know everything. It was based on a true story, which kind of surprised me in the yeah, end. I didn't know that. Yeah, because it was so dramatic, and cause it's really hard to play a crazy person, and Jamie Foxx did a really, really good job, and the way he developed his character. I mean, mm -hmm. it's really hard to tell that it's not just a character. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, like in um, Tropic Thunder, Robert Downey Jr., uh, says that you never go full retard when you're playing a retarded person in a movie. He went full retard. No, he didn't go full retard. He, he can he play went. the cello. A full retard is just full-blown can't do anything right. They're just insane. But oh. he can still play the cello. For well, Gump could retarded play ping guy, pong though. and stuff. Yeah, he was retarded, but the point is... <laughs> in mentally movie. unwell. <laughs> yeah, whatever. He's mentally unwell. But like in Tropic Thunder, Ben Stiller just played someone that like didn't even have some sort of redeeming quality he just sort of like drooled around and was an idiot but this guy was actually really smart musically speaking of music prom yeah prom public was public school proms yeah. never go to one i went to private ever. school and prom was very subdued compared to this like the the dancing was disgusting oh gosh yeah. yes it's basically like this oh god Him stop. <laughs> but there's less clothes and more women. Sorry. But Hey, I'm a woman. It's pretty equal. More here. of it though. There there'd be like four of you. 
And there'd be like one of you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's disgusting. I kind of wish it was like Frank Sinatra type music where oh, everyone's yeah, like dressed yeah, up and awesome. like like classy and like dancing, not just like touching each other's butts and then like going out back. And That's pretty much disgusting. Yeah. I don't know how you can live with saying that. Speaking of zombies, I don't know, it just says it on the paper. What about zombies? Zombies? You wrote zombies! <laughs> I don't know why. Okay. Wait, what? I'm trying to figure... Zombies? You wrote zombies! <laughs> I mean, zombies are cool, but I didn't think they were yellow notepad worthy. <laughs> okay, look. Does that not say zombies? <laughs> zombies next to Hulu. She gets proposed to, like, once a day. <laughs> and wh what about the kid who was offering you a dollar or something? Oh, yeah, this guy's like, you're sexy, you sexy. Here, you want a dollar? Okay, great, you got a dollar, yeah. You want two dollars? Yeah, I got two dollars. Yeah, great, you got two dollars. Yeah, yeah, you senior, you sexy senior. You got a dollar, you See, want a I said she should at least give him her phone number because that's a, <laughs> that's a pretty good <laughs> pickup line. <laughs> well, you, you didn't give me a dollar. <laughs> I know, I didn't have a dollar, which is good that you met me before you met him because... <laughs> I'd be out of luck. I should really get his phone number now. I see him every day. Really? Yeah, I think I'm going to get his phone number. Take should, him out on a date. should ask him out. In Australia, this guy was mugged by 20 Aborigine kids that were, like, from 8 to, um, 14. And oh, wait, I'm just hitting myself. Dang it. Yeah, you failed. Yeah. But these <laughs> kid, kids from 8 to 12 beat up this one guy because they came up and they're like, we want a cigarette. And he said, no, you can't have one. And so they hit him in the face with a bike. And then beat him up severely. So I was trying to figure out why they beat him up over one cigarette. Like, what are twenty kids gonna do with a cigarette? But then I suggested we like they like break it up into sections. Work it like, out in like a timeshare type of thing, where like they get it on a certain like day. Like one uh, uh, inhale every other week. Yeah, and they mark it on like the that. cigarette like how yeah, far like they with can a pen. smoke it too. And so like they work out this whole like Excel spreadsheet. All these like thug kids are like, okay. Or no. a graph, yeah. like, measuring... Like, they create this big presentation, like, okay, now Stinky Pete and Winston here, they get it up to <laughs> this far, and Big Mike, he gets it um, this long. And so, like, they had it all worked out. And, what and we... then they, like, slaughter each other for more time. Yeah, if like a war. one of them dies, then, like, you get, okay, you get another third they, of Yeah, they break year. it, yeah, they break it up into... Mm -hmm. So we think they might have beat him up because he took one too many puffs, like, he was actually in on it, and they're like... You, you totally went against the chart. Or maybe it was either that, or they were mad that they didn't have a cigarette to, like, use their plan on now, and they, they did all these PowerPoints for yeah, no reason. Yeah, they've already figured everything out. Was out so. And so they just hit him in the face with a bike. How do you kill a zombie? Like, do you cut off his head? You have to... Yeah, you have to decapitate I think. A guy in my speech class did a presentation on how to kill zombies. Like, he full-blown did one of his 22% of his grade speeches on how to kill zombies. And he failed it. But uh, Why did he fail? Because it was just utter crap. Because you have to have real information. And he just had a book called, like, How to Kill Zombies. And he had his friends to come in and dress up as zombies. And then he, like, beat them out with a sword. That's really lame. What did you do yours on? I did it on YouTube. Oh, yeah. Because I'm a nerd. I love you. Thanks. I love me, too. I know. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to go get away from you now. So, do you have any last words for the internet? No. <laughs> no. Oh, yeah, follow me on Twitter. Yes. Oh, so, where's the Twitter? Twitter, Twitter that, that way. Th that way. This way. No, that way. This way. That way. Yeah, the links are there to her Twitter and my Twitter and all the tweetasticness that you could ever hope for. Twitter! Tweetsticles! Okay, bye. You're a good man.